What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Blowing Smoke with comedian Sean Jones, man. I'm very happy today that I have a very special guest, a real close friend of mine. We've been knowing each other for many, many years. A uh, funny young lady in the business from right here in the Queen City. Got Ooh. my girl, Coco Fresh. What's up? What's up? We do go back. Yeah, we go way yeah, back. Yeah, like you was around I, when I was bartending. I mean, yeah, I remember uh, you had a ponytail. Wow. Yeah. You ain't had no hair, you just had a ponytail. Just, like this. <laughs> just a ponytail. Unnecessary ponytail. Short haircut with just a ponytail. Like a Superman little I, swirl. Yeah. You know? Nah, yeah, we've known, I've known you since you were since you were since you was uh working at the comedy zone when it was on yeah. independence. And H two O. Yep, and H two O, yeah. So we go way back and then you stepped into this comedy game. Mm -hmm. And how many years you been doing comedy now? Almost nine years now. Nine years. Wow. Wow. I remember, I remember I was doing it nine years. Shit, that was a long, long, long time ago. When I was doing it, everything was in black and white. No, not people, everything. No, no, no color. No, no color. Everything was in black and white. Shit. <laughs> but nah, it's cool. So, so it was, it was kind of, it was kind of interesting to see you because it was a time where I, I saw you when you were waitressing yeah and then the next time I saw you you were doing comedy mm -hmm. I was like what are you doing you know what you doing here what I was it? studying y'all yeah. really that, see that's good because you were you were around it I every single around night it every night so you know it was like you it was inevitable that you were possibly going to be in entertainment somehow yeah. if you had that ambition in you already so I did but I was scared but just you know like I said being around y'all who were you scared of I was just scared of getting booed that's what. Come on, now. I mean, that's I part was. of the business. That, I know. I didn't. So that's know. what kept you from 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 getting into it sooner. Well, but? no. What it was is like, you know, with comedy, it makes you bring out who you really are. So for a long time, it was just always, you know, oh, you pretty. You you should be doing this, and you need to be wearing this. You need to look like this, and you, you nobody. So if you, if I was to come out and be like, hey, I want to be a comedian, it'd just be like, Ugh, I already knew. Right, right. So it's just the judgments of it I was worried about. But you finally got over yeah. that and you be, you said you're going to go Yeah, up. I just okay. said, I don't give a fuck. I don't like nobody. That's right. Fuck that's me, and my, me, and my, me and my little swirl, we're going that's out right. on the road. That's right. But that's cool. So nine years. Uh, yeah. Is it enjoyable? Is it everything you thought it would be? No. What's the, is it disappointing? It's disappointing on the business side. Oh, yeah. But I love doing it. I love making people laugh. It's, it was therapeutic. Right. But um, on the business end, yeah, it's bullshit. But yeah. I love it. Yeah, I mean, that's part of any business. But a comedy, it, it, it tends to be a little bit more. Um, it's you have it's 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 hard to get the respect that you deserve. It is. You know, and I know as a woman, it's much harder. Especially for, you. for the women. That's why yeah. you see a lot of women either marry their managers, right. so they'll just automatically somebody got their back, or they go into Christian comedy. Right. But and Jesus they, got their back. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Cause the church always gonna have that money. Yeah, that's true. So, that's true. So, did you marry your manager? No, but he's turning into my manager. Oh, well, I haven't he's been managed managing yet. to get that ass when you come off the road. <laughs> so I guess he might as well go he's ahead my road and get a manager. W two for it. You know, look here, being that we both naked, we might as well go ahead and solidify this deal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool though. He's it a real cool dude. Life. I like. I him. do. He's that's my baby. I got good him. energy. That's a good dude. Mm. How'd y'all meet? On Facebook. Okay, that's uh different. So, <laughs> oh, shit. That See? was spirit. Yeah, uh huh. His spirit here. He's like, man, don't be talking about me while I'm dead. <laughs> so y'all met on Facebook. Yeah, I okay. did a. He uh, said your dick pic on space, Facebook. No, he didn't. But we started dating on the first <laughs> night. We went out and I sat on his dick and I was just like, you it. Okay, that was that was. I sat the, on his lap and I felt his penis. And I, I should hope like, so. If you didn't, you know you. Yeah. Probably have a different. You have probably have a if less. I, I'm glad I sat on his lap. Right. So that was what did it. It was. It solidified it. Right. It, it did. So. So you sat on his dick, and that made you say, "You know what? I think I'm gonna go yeah. ahead with this." I, I'm not. This is so real. You never thought about why is this nigga hard? Already, like we're well, we kissed, we're in, like what we're in AHA. <laughs> we were, we were actually at Red this 28. This unnecessarily hard. We was at this little spot to sell wings, <laughs> and he said, he said, come here and sit on my lap. And that that dude the pervert. <laughs> and then he hit him with a Santa Claus line. Said, come sit on my lap. Tell me yeah, what you want. Yeah, he did this. He did this. Nigga, it's June. Thing. What are you talking about? What I want for Christmas? 
So, <laughs> so you sat you sat on this lap, and he was like, "Ooh, you got a pretty kiss. smile on your oh, you he kiss." He has a thick set of lips. Yes. Right. So he was and like, so did you, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so he said give me a kiss I gave him a kiss his lips felt good and of course then that's when his dick got hard and I was just like yes and so we've what been if, together ever since what if he had chapped lips and a hard dick oh, fuck it, no. <laughs> <laughs> but like look you're going to have to get some chapstick mm -hmm. and some condoms I, this ain't no, going I ain't right. trying to fix nobody that's he, was, cool. he came already put together All right. Okay. Oh, God damn, man. Y'all got to excuse me. We are uncoordinated here today. She brought these spirits in here. And Actually, a, they are here. They don't like me talking about him like that. Right. Trust me, the spirits have seen this dick the way y'all walk around the house. <laughs> like, God damn, I wish I couldn't see everything. But no. They turn they, they, actually, they turn their heads when we do that. Really? Mm -hmm. So the spirits in your house turn their heads? They it's perverse. They be watching me. <laughs> Look, I had I had some pictures on my phone. My spirits had better pictures. I was like, "Yo, send that to me." Spirits be watching. You know, spirits watch you masturbate too. Okay, come on now. So you gonna spoil it for me, man? I'm telling you, be going somebody to town. always watching. They yeah, watching but, your facial expressions, everything. So, uh, okay. <laughs> See, I don't even want to know. See, you see, this is when you when you bring a, a young lady that that's in touch with the spiritual side so much. This is the kind of stuff you find out. I always wanted the spirits watch you when you masturbate. But the spirits are—they they are here. They, they some just, nosy bastards. The energies don't they, are Don't they go ba masturbate? Ain't necessary. They huh? don't have to. So what they gotta do? They, they, that's not the. That's a physical get off thing. Well, the I don't whole know. Point a of couple times I masturbated, I felt very spiritual. You know, the point of masturbating, or even just in a course is to manifest something so your penis is a wand and the woman's vagina is a portal so every time you yeah so every the point of sex intercourse masturbating all of that is to manifest so whenever you masturbate you need to be thinking about something that you want yeah like some something to fit money. around this <laughs> <Some money. laughs> shit this hand is getting unnecessary <laughs> Okay, so I, this is gonna be interesting to a lot of people to find out. It's gonna you're gonna make a lot of people probably stop masturbating no. at least for a day or so. And masturbate for a purpose. I'm gonna make you masturbate for a purpose. Don't just be masturbating. Just oh, get something out of it. Get the mass. I'm you know I'm gonna I'm manifest three thousand dollars. Well, if and you masturbate on camera, you can't that that three thousand exactly. dollars will come true. Exactly. See, it's something very quickly. Exactly. So. But it's at the point of orgasm when you orgasm or you come. That's when you mm. come. ah five house five exactly. bedroom house. Exactly. I just nutted the house. Exactly. My nut was thirty seven hundred square feet. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Three times a day. Three times a day. You you got a multiples of three, six, and nine. Exactly. Three sixty nine. Oh, 69. Three, yeah, okay. You can do a 69, 69 three times a day. Yeah. yeah. So, you, okay. This is interesting information. This is not what I expected, but I guess this will happen when you're blowing smoke or blowing wads, according to you. Um, That's right. This is the kind of information you find out. So, you suggest that people masturbate three times a day. If your point, if you're going to masturbate, masturbate with purpose. Everything that you do needs to be with purpose even in your masturbations, but whenever you're doing rituals, like masturbating, you need to do it at least three times. So Three is a magical number. See, but see, now, nah, you got to be careful when you tell me, see, because I went to Catholic school. Okay. And you know, the Catholic religion is all based around three. Uh, yeah. So I'd be damned if I'm a, I'm a masturbate in the name of the Father. That's, uh, nah, bro. That's, bro what make, that's a part of your creation. But it... I gotta, I gotta you get cannot more. do stuff and just and be like, no, God, you ain't got nothing to do with this now. This is just me. You can't do that. God is, you got to make God a part of everything. So at least if you're going to do something that you know, you know, is kind of messed up, do it with purpose. That's all you crackheads out there. Smoke crack with purpose. <laughs> do it, hit it three times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, that was an unexpected turn that I wasn't mm -hmm. expecting. So early, you just w went right for it. This is what I do every day. All right, all that's day. what that's what happens when you blow smoke. Your cigar. Yeah, my possibly. cigar went out. Yeah. I I can't. Th my cigars always go out. Because you don't smoke them. <sighs> so. I do. She putting them. She putting it on the fire. 
You look like one of them, one of them aunties that got to light they light they cigarettes on the stove. Oh yeah, she smoking Newports again. You ever had that auntie? Because the light, you know, you got to turn it. Whoosh! God damn it! You like one of them aunties that do that. So why well, I gotta look like an auntie? Why can't I just be you? Okay, you look like that sister auntie. because aunties light cigarettes on the stove. <laughs> ain't no young person light no cigarettes. <laughs> An auntie ain't never got a lighter. All she got is a purse with new points that's bent because she done had a wallet on top of the box in the in, yep. the, in the purse. So her new point and she gotta put it back. Uh-huh. In, she gotta fix it. The filler and fell out. <laughs> she smoking new point filler. Anyway, um. So yeah, you've been doing comedy nine years, yeah. and you and you, you you masturbate with the spirits watching. I don't masturbate no more. You don't masturbate anymore. Not as much. No, not really. I really don't. Because you're sitting on his lap a lot. Absolutely. You're a nasty motherfucker. You know that. Y'all some nasty motherfuckers. That's all right. That's all right. You know you're in a relationship, so you can do that. Mm-hmm. So okay, and so on outside of your comedy. Outside, you mm-hmm. travel. You travel a lot. Uh, yeah. How is it for him to deal with that now? He goes with me now. Really? And every show we make to a little vacation. Oh, that's cool. So we'll probably go a day early, and we always try to get a room that has a jacuzzi in it. Y'all some nasty asses. Man. And it's fun. It's it's like I got my playmate. Right. That's true. That's um, good. You know, a lot of it, the cool part about the whole thing is that you're in touch with your sexuality. Yeah. People like the taboo. And I'm, I'm you know I'm joking around about it, but it's really cool to find a young lady that that can embrace her sexuality mm-hmm. and be open with speaking about it. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is, we we tend to turn up our nose in public, right. but get behind closed doors and do all kinds of shit. Mm-hmm. You know, there's shit in your kitchen that you can't eat with because it done been up your That's ass. Right. That's you right. Know? So, it's, there ain't nothing in your kitchen. Then. No, we don't okay. even have visitors. Okay, yeah, because y'all got enough people in there with all them spirits and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no room for no human beings. We're like, well, you can't sit there. That's Gertrude right. is the That's there. right. Nah, don't drink that. That's daddy's. So you oh, so you okay, so now now we, so your spirits that are there are ones that you've known. They're in the, my my spirit oh, so guys are I don't want my daddy to come back to So my, my daddy is one of them, my grandmama and it's a great grandmother that's a spirit guy. So I got like all my people's with me. You, so your father passed? Yes. So you think when you <laughs> you think when y'all doing it? He was like, don't do that to my baby. <laughs> Get off my baby. <laughs> he be trying to swipe him. My daddy looks at the yeah, side. I wish I had my real hand. <laughs> 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 but he reminds me of, I think, he he reminds me of my dad. That's what attracted me to him. Okay, you might want to kind of rephrase that. Well, I don't sleep. I ain't slept with my daddy. But Well, you sleep with your daddy in the house now, obviously. The spirit. Yeah. So... That's. <laughs> you ever think that he'd be watching y'all make love and he'd be like, yo, you just like your mama. <laughs> yo, she like her mama. Look, she's just like her mama. I remember your mama used to do that to me. Boy, I wish I still had my physical dick. <laughs> I ain't supposed to, I ain't supposed to want these feelings no more, but this Mm-mm. my spirit is feeling it. Well, my dad goes and visits my mom in her dreams. So I bet you do, right? He no leave me all last year. What they be? He be like, what's with your mom here? You sleep? <laughs> Just like he used to do. I'm done. You sleep? I'm done. No. <laughs> Daddy, he laughing. He laughing. Yeah. Good, because I was afraid. Because you're going <laughs> to get his, uh, get his, uh, some archangels to come up here and they be waiting for me outside. <laughs> Come outside, punk. Don't worry, we'll come through the wall. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool, though. That's yeah. That's that's cool, though. But you know, I've always wondered, you know, with the spirits, because I, you know, like sometimes I feel presence. I feel a lot of presence you around, and I wasn't wasn't sure whether the presence that I sometimes feel are people that I've known or just like uh, angels or archangels mm-hmm. or or you know, like um, what do they call you, like your well, I, I say this. I, it's whatever you... The one thing you know for sure is you have ancestors. Right. That's what you know. People question, you know, religion and God and all this stuff. One thing you know is somebody that was here and they passed off. So, if you... Well, whoever is closest to you and they passed off, 
let's say like, okay, let me use my father as an example. Right. I know that when my father crossed over, the okay. first, go ahead. Sorry, that was my spirit, probably my spirit calling. Get that, get that wine back there. Oh, that, your spirit's busy, man. They be knocking over stuff. Yeah, you got some stuff in here. Oh, let me. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna edit this part out. Hey babe, we filming right now. Alright, I'll call you back. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to the spirits. <laughs> Let me turn this ring off. I'm all off balance today, babe. What's wrong with me? Shit falling, phone I don't ringing. Know. Right. You make me nervous. No, I don't. No, you don't. I know. But anyway, like I was saying, just like when my father crossed over. The first thing that, as any father, they're going to make sure that their family is okay. Right, right, right. So, that's what he was doing. He, he was just, preparing. He, yeah, well, he crossed over. He came and checked on us. He made right. sure we straight. So, he with me. Right. So, it's the same thing with you. You need some place to sit? Or you like to stand? Nah, he went. He, he right here hanging around. He chilling. Okay. So, he always got my back. Right. So, that's the way it is with our ancestors. Right. They're all, they're around us. Right. So you, whoever comes to mind first, that's the part. That's your person. It's a, it's the first time I I experienced like a a supernatural feeling was when my <laughs> uncle Jerry died. That mm -hmm. was the first time I ever experienced death mm -hmm. firsthand. Um, he had a brain aneurysm, died unexpectedly at fifty two, mm -hmm. and um, but I was there when he when he transitioned. You know, I heard the gurgling in his voice. You know, in his throat and the last breath yeah. and it was like when he did it I felt a coldness go through me mm. and it was it was a, it was a peaceful coldness yeah and then you know my grandmother my mother everybody broke down started crying and I and I just said hey Uncle Jerry's telling telling me to tell you guys that he's okay now and it was like you know that wasn't that was outside my character but it was like it just automatically felt right to say as well as to feel that to feel him when it said beep, and I just felt this this breeze go through. You got somebody around you. They um, getting somebody has like a really curly hair, um, gray in the curls. Um, they may wear um, like a flannel shirt, and I'm also getting like red suspenders. But I'm getting somebody with very like, curly hair. Like, uh, meet the Browns. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's an ancestor around you. He has very curly hair. Very nice, uh, like a nice gray hair. He must be down the line because if he got curly hair, that's far removed from where yeah. I'm at. Yeah, well, that's it's, it's more like or underarm less hair. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Did that, so that's that's my that's my angel. That's well, that's, that's somebody that's around you. Is he? And good? I feel like you may not. You probably don't know. It's somebody that you don't know, but it's good people. Wait, did he die a thief? Because, no. you know, I don't want him to be in the house when I'm gone. No, I don't even see how he died. I don't see that far with him. Mm -hmm. I just, um, it's funny how you say meet the Browns because it is somebody that's like that character. Really? Somebody that's like Well, that. if you're wearing red suspenders in the flor uh, floral shirt. Flannel. Fl oh, flannel. It's blue. Oh. Like it's a blue and, blue and white. And I see suspenders, like red suspenders. But it's nothing that's like up here. It's just, just it's very, it's actually stylish. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have to find out who that is. Yeah, ask your peoples. You yeah. don't know anybody. Yeah. So does just does your uh, does the spirits that hang around do they really do stuff? Because you know a lot of people are interested in the fact of you know stuff falling over or things happening in the house. If if a, if some if a spirit is doing that or if you experience something like that, it's because they want you to see them. Right. Um, a lot of them are not commanding you to see them. Well, but I if could, they want you to see them, they're gonna do stuff like that. Really? Well, why mind keep turning off my phone when I watch it? Well, you, <laughs> <laughs> like he, he, he cock block. Like you know better. Right. Oh, it might be my grandmother, cat. Mm mm. No. No. So, so moving on. So you're. I guess we didn't even introduce that part of you. No, we yeah, were, we just started talking. Yeah, about because every, you know we were talking about you as a comic, and we yeah. just automatically went into the spiritual side. So basically. What is it that, what would you label that part of you? So there's, there's different facets. Of I, uh, well, I, I, I work for 
I work for California Psychic, and I work for another company, Keen. Well, I'm an independent contractor for both of them. So I am a psychic medium. I only like using psychic. You know what? I wear a medium. Oh, that's, is that, that's spelled differently. Oh, uh, continue. I can't. I can't. <laughs> he laughed. He I can't. He popped the suspension. I, ah! I, I am a spiritual advisor. And I, I read tarot and I do uh, mediumship. I do medium work. So commun get messages from people that's crossed over. Okay, so it's, so you said tarot. Tarot. Cause, so a lot of people pronounce it incorrectly because everybody says tarot readings. Is that tarot? Yeah, I, maybe mm. it's just the people I'm around. It might be the people you're around. Yeah, but they're very it may be country. Right. People say the tarot. So tarot readings. Tarot. And. Um, and how did you get involved in that? Like I've been messing with tarot since 97. Really? But I didn't start doing it for other people until 2019. So I didn't start doing it for a living till 2019. Yeah. So, and the thing about, you know, it's interesting because I know, and I, and I know you've experienced this so much, you know, our people tend to, Mm -hmm. You know, make fun of people like you know, like yourself. Yeah. Um, how do you deal with that? I don't care. You don't care. You be like, look, I sick my spirits. Get them. That's you, right. And, your, and then your spirits are dog. My spirits are, uh, what's the word? They kind of ratchet. Like people so you think got hood when you, spirits. Yeah, because people think when you you cross over, it's like oh. Right. No. They be like, we turned up in this yes. thing. Yes. Yes. Like I'll hear. Yes. Like, we be on cloud yes. nine for real this time. Yeah. Like it's like with men, my daddy would be like <laughs> before I was dating, before I got with my guy, he'd be like, man, fuck that nigga. Like I'll hear my daddy really? say, fuck him, I leave. Or you know. Was he like that in real life? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. So his personality don't change. No. So my father is whooping somebody ass yeah. in heaven right now. Well, no, he's probably helping you whoop somebody ass. Well, he need to come forward because. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. So yeah. So that's um. I mean, I know like a lot of a lot of our people. We, it's so crazy. It's like a contradiction. We believe in our ancestors. We believe mm -hmm. in spirituality, but we don't believe. We find it hard to believe a person such as yourself are able to. Be in touch with yeah. them. You know, it's a, it's, a contra it's, it's a contradiction when you think about well, it. Well, what it is back in the day, you didn't tell back, in, I know at least in the slavery times, you didn't tell people that we, we didn't tell that we had that ability. Right. It was a, you, so it wasn't that it was taboo, it was real, but you just didn't talk about it. Right. And it's like, even today, you don't advertise that's what you do. Yeah, you don't advertise it, but it's like, you know, I think other races are open to it. Like, yeah. you can talk about it like we're talking about it now. Yeah. And people won't turn up their nose or just think it's yeah. gimmicky or you just... No. They, they, the one thing that a lot of people tend to say is the fact of, oh, you say stuff that's so surfaced yeah. that you're really not saying anything. You say, oh, today you're going to breathe. I can feel yeah. it in your car. It's like, yeah, I should hope the fuck so. Yeah. Or you'd be doing the tower reading about me yeah. being some, behind somebody with suspenders in the plaid shirt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I know it's real hard. But it's, I think I think the fact of the matter, too, is a lot of people, we tend to turn our nose up at things we don't understand instead of instead of trying to find out what it is, you know. I think it's, I think it's, it's turned into turn, turn our nose up, but I think it's also like a defense mechanism. Right. right. Um, we don't want, again, it just goes back to we ain't supposed to touch that. We, and we don't play with spirit. We look at... Black folks, we look at this a lot of that ain't my this, business. That's playing right, yeah. and that's playing with spirit. You don't you don't mess with that. So you step on cracks. Yeah. <laughs> and you walk under ladders. Uh huh. I ain't never scared. That's right. Okay. So that's black. That's a different kind of. Okay. Yeah. So so, do you believe in like so? New Orleans has a reputation. Louisiana, absolutely. Just as well as there are good spirits there. Yeah. Nice. That's yeah. You, it's not really a good and bad. It's about intention. For that particular spirit. Exactly. Right. You got some, some, it's, it's spirits, it's entities. You got people in, not things, you have things in other dimensions that is not necessarily a spirit or what used to be a person or whatever you want to call it. You have things that are in other dimensions that sole purpose is to cause chaos. Right. 
So yeah, and so, everything. Ooh, that you I'm do, your ex-wife. Cause that motherfucker caused a lot of chaos. Wait, we okay? Maybe we should edit that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> well, that's yeah. That's interesting, man. You know, it's always been something that I've been interested in, but kind of like afraid because a lot of people are afraid to find out. Well, yeah, fear so you can, is. You can put them in the car. You. What? You can put them cards in the car. You try. No, we're going to find out some stuff today. Shit. Look, you can find out what my credit now. score is. Hey, we're going to find out a lot today. We're going to find out why stuff just ain't what you want ain't happening. But you know what's so crazy? Right now in my life, everything. But you manifest every. But you're a manifester. I'm a and master beta. I'm a, <laughs> okay. But the things about. <laughs> the thing about comedians, and I'm talking about real. You know, I'm talking about road comedians because there's, you know, there's a difference. Mm. But the thing about com- comedians, we have, uh, we're very powerful people because right. we have the ability to speak and invoke a, um, what you call it, a reaction out of people that we, even got, we don't even know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, but I, I have to say, it's, it's, it's the first time in my life where I'm happy. That's Com- good. Are completely fulfilled every every aspect. You know, still, you know, things aren't all the way at the level, but overall, I wake up in the morning in a good mood. Peace with of no, mind. Yeah, with good. no stress. Good. You know, and it's it's been a long time. It's been a long time coming, so. That's good. So, I'll, you know, just pull the cards from the middle of the deck. That's the ones that's good shit. <laughs> that shit on top be like, ooh. Now, let's see. What you got? It? Now, this is the thing. Okay. Now, y'all be ready for this now. Now, this is the thing. I don't do general reading, so I'm not just going to come I don't read at all. Regular... If I was a, you know what, if I was a tarot reading, I'd be like a, uh, like a remedial reader. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be like, oh, what's that word on that card? I want to tell you, I, I want, some bad going to happen, but I can't read what they say. Look at that got to sound that out. Now, the picture right, say. Right, right, the picture look like you're going to have a fucked up day. <laughs> so, when you say you don't do... You don't do. I don't do general. I always say be specific with your questions. The more specific of a question, the more specific of an answer. So if you say, hey, uh, what my money look like um, for next month, I'm just be like, your money going to look good or bad. But if you be specific, like, okay, if I invest in this or if this, be very specific. Because my thing is, I'm like, I'm going a t- I'm to a tell you what you want to know. And I don't read for entertainment purposes. Mm-hmm. I read to help you find out. We are gonna figure out how to get you what you want. Yeah, you know, I'm. It's 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 a part of me that's interested in that, but a part of me that's afraid because I like to. I also like to experience life for yeah. things that happen in a natural progression. Right. You know what I mean. That's to, why I say be specific. Right. Okay. Um. I think I look. We should do CJ instead of me. Let CJ find out. CJ like nah. All right, well let's. How see. much film does he have left with his camera? <laughs> let me. <laughs> the cards say. Now, okay, let me see this. Let me just see what spirit just want to tell you. Let's see. Is that nigga with the suspender still over here? <laughs> yeah. What he want to know? <laughs> he laughing at you. <laughs> so I think this is part of where your your. He helps you with your comedic side. I feel like he helps That might be with true that. because of the, the, like you said, a character, a funny mm-hmm. type of character. Maybe that's what it's But he doesn't is. he's not like He's not funny like Yeah, he just has like a good it, it's like, like a, 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 a a happy a, yes. a, a, a entertaining energy. Yes. Which yes. that's that's kinda me. You know, mm-hmm. I don't I don't strive to be funny. Mm-hmm. I just you know, I'm just uh I just have that tendency to just say things that just trying to make people feel good. Not even trying to make the, it just comes out naturally. Mm-hmm. You know, like like today at the airport when I was coming home, the lady asked me. She said, "Are you military?" I said, "No," nah, but I watched a war movie last night. Mm. You know, and it was just and and it really made it. She was like, you know, it really made her day. But it was not something I was expecting a reaction. It was just like something dumb that I've said, uh, which I say thousands of things that's dumb every single day. You shuffling the shit out them cards. You you pulling out. Is white people my future? Nah, this is the my golden girls deck. Oh. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, so uh, so Blanche gonna come back and tell me something. <laughs> okay, so this is what I got. I feel like this may be around your ex wife because you brought her up. 
Just but, uh, but just to, to set it straight, there's no there's no bad blood. Yeah, no you know, bad. It's just that it's just that. There's some concern. That, okay. You ain't gonna put my shit out here like this. Okay. Like, I'm trying to keep this shit from being evidence in court. Oh, well, we don't <laughs> nah. talk about something. Nah, else. nah, 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 <laughs> okay. nah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Well, maybe I should find out. Okay. okay. So, what I'm getting is okay, I'm getting two of wands energy. Two of wands right side up represents like planning something, something that you're planning that is you're trying to get to come into fruition. I'm seeing that something that you've planned is uh, not going, you're worried about something that you're planning not happening and it's concerning a woman that, uh, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, a Leo energy. Um, this is somebody that you may have had conflict with in the um, future, but it's something that you've planned around this woman that you're worried about not coming into fruition because of the conflicts that y'all have had in the past. An idea is going to come to you though and it's going to be, uh, Spirit is pointing out about how you are a magician and you are full of... I'm going um, to disappear on her ass. You are full <laughs> of, you have uh, a lot of resources and things that you actually put into plan, it, it manifests. So it's just saying like you have all the resources within yourself to uh, make whatever you want happen. Um, I do get that somebody is watching you very, very closely and watching you not in a watching you of uh it's like obsessively watching you this could be this woman watching you obsessively and but something good is going to happen in your favor so spirit is just saying like you know just kind of go with the flow and let go of any worry because i get it happily ever after after that's coming to you so only you know what, what that resonates with but because you wasn't very specific on your question that's just what i got coming through so whatever basically whatever you're worried about concerning another female that's watching you very very closely don't even worry about it you just have somebody that's just watching you except obsessively and maybe somebody that you've dated but things are going to go very good in your favor and she gonna be all right she's gonna float away and you just continue to just go with the flow and hang with your energy because i do see you coming together of some other way like a happily ever, ever after in another aspect could be in a relationship family coming together everybody being like happy so but an idea is going to come to you and you be like you know what okay i'm gonna do this all right well i can bring this i got this i got this going okay well i can have that come together and it's gonna mm -hmm. Be all good. Ooh, so. I peed a little bit while she was saying that because I got worried. I was like, man, this shit about to go No. Wrong. So basically, you're going to be fine. Okay. All you right, want to so. know what somebody wants to say to you that uh, they're not saying? Like a loved one? Like an old an ex? Wonder what your ex want to say to you, but they won't say? It's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, I, you know, we, we did okay. have, we went through a bad period, but we both, you know, we, we just, mm -hmm. it was old. You know, and, you. and where we are now, we're, we're in a What does Sean X want to say to her? The fuck? Him. I'm mm -hmm. taking my time on purpose. I envision my life with you, so your ex ain't over uh, you. No, let's, let's, let, let, can I take this card? Yeah. I, uh, can I use this? No. I'm going to burn the shit out of that card. She ain't dumb. It's like nah. she doesn't want to let you go. Nah. When I think of you, I touch myself. That's some dirty spirits. My heart is broken because of my... She has some issues with her ex. And that she wasn't over. Maybe we shouldn't look I at I love myself for... <laughs> okay. God damn. Now you're going to have me trying to explain shit. Well, you Who can... is the bitch? Edit that. Edit that out. <laughs> like, that wasn't me. That was the cards. Mm -hmm. Let me see them goddamn cards. Does anything I'm saying resonate? If oh, it the part about... Being worried about something that that is uh, possibly coming, you know, that a big something big that I've had planned. You trying to have a baby, another baby? What the fuck, you edit that shit out. <laughs> fuck you talking about? Shit. <laughs> I'm just shit. kidding. That's not nah, nah. Part. It's a uh, you know. I mean, should I even share it? Like, or is Go that ahead. something that? Yeah. No, nah, it's just that you know my comedy special. Oh, that's my the new creation. Yeah, my my comedy special. We're filming it uh, in June. Okay, so let's just look at that. Why you just didn't ask that well, question? I thought that's, I didn't know shit. I didn't know like shit. Well, no, you. Uh, I said be how specific. Much, I'm how far am I gonna get this place. gas that's in my goddamn car right now with Spirit, four something some together? Spirit, give me some insight about Sean's comedy special. What is it that? What does he need to know about that? What can he look forward to with that? 
We need to take that card out. Don't pick, mix that card because she might show up at the special. <laughs> <laughs> Touching herself. Hey, six of wands is your victory card. That's six of wands? What? Okay, victory. explain that. See how she's holding up the... Okay, so, so that... So it's going to be successful. Whatever your... Okay, give me some more insight about the success. Whatever you're hoping for with this, you're going to get success with it. But let's get more insight about this. I said I'm going to be a millionaire. This now, year. I do get the Hero Font card. So it's something that you're very committed to. And actually... Masturbation. Okay, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I cannot. <coughs> Shit. This is something that you're very, you've been very committed to. And I'm saying, are you shooting this special in the month of June? Or when are you shooting it? June, uh, Father's Day weekend. That's that in, just seven, in June? Yeah, 17th. Yeah, 17. six. Six of one. Six represents the month of June as well. Um, I'm getting something that you're very committed to. And actually, people that are being a part of this and that are looking to for this, it's like you've worked yourself up the ranks over the years to where people have a lot of respect for you on this. So people are going to actually respect your work. Um, I'm getting that the star card, the star meaning you, the celebrity, the star. This is going to get you a lot of attention. And actually, the star represents wishes fulfilled. So, again, whatever you're wishing and praying for with this special is going to be success. Um, this has been something that it has been, I'm getting like a bit of a struggle, especially in, in the month of May. Um, you may get some little pushback on that, but you're going to come out over this very, very victorious. It's like people are going to be trying to come and coming at you from different ways to try to discourage you from doing this. But Spirit is saying the biggest thing is about communication. So anything that you need to let people know about this, communication is the key to this. So don't just assume that people know what to do about this. Also be careful of making decisions based off of emotions. You may have a low point or you may be feeling up and down. And be, when you're in these places of feeling like this, you may just make a decision based off that emotion. Spirit is saying be careful of that. Also, Spirit is pushing for you to be patient mm. with wa wanting what you want when you want it. Be patient with this. And also, Spirit is saying get some sleep because you're losing sleep over this as well. If not, you may be losing sleep up in the future. Um, be careful of having bouts of dealing with what you've dealt with in the past. Don't look at the letdowns of the past and trying to compare it to what's going to happen now. Um, don't look at what you've lost in the past because I'm getting like two opportunities that's still going to be coming to you from this so when you present this out especially when you push this out um i'm getting like five people that you may push this to you may get three no's and two but two possibilities two yes um i'm getting to be careful of obsessive thoughts about this it's like again go with the flow energy you are a magician you make shit happen you make shit work and this is going to be a success i'm also seeing you some kind of partnership is going to come out of this you coming together with somebody else because of this yeah but you you've got some people that don't want you to do this i don't know why i'm just hating i don't know reason but you're going to be successful a lot of burdens on your back and then you get the pink king of pentacles very calculated um very um just strategic movements with your money on this. All right? Hmm. The, 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 the key part of that is patience. You know, that was, the, that was the word that changed my, that made everything go to where I am now. During the mm -hmm. pandemic, it was that struggle. Mm -hmm. Couldn't figure out why things weren't going accordingly. I was putting in the work. I was trying to be a good person. And me and a partner of mine, we were talking, and he was like, dude, you know, you're doing everything, and, it's just like you get every time you just get momentum, you get you hit a brick wall, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. I just wish I I wish I understood what it is that I need to do, and a voice came out of nowhere and said, I just need you to be patient. That's right. And I was like, yo, I said, yo, I just heard a voice too, and I, and I told them about it, and I said, okay, well, I'm gonna be patient. And from that day, it was just like a whirlwind of things happening in my favor. So that when you said patience, that's what I've I've learned to be patient with a lot of things. Now the haters and all that stuff. I mean, I can. Well, you don't pay attention to it. You I don't. Yeah, do that, no. So, but you right. you just know, you know, you've just got people that are that watch you very envious of you, and then are just like, eh, you know, they don't don't want that to happen. But it is around you. You should be aware. But it's around you. What that money look like? That, uh, that's it. What that money. Wait, maybe we shouldn't know that. Okay. You want to know? You want to know? 
Okay. I'm having fun with this. I don't know. I, you, you, know have fun. you should. Uh, what I want you to do while you're doing that, won't you share your information with people? So because there might be a lot of people who wants to see this, you know, want to experience it themselves, might be interested in. So. Um, hit me up on. You can hit me up on the B T H E Fresh Tarot com, the Fresh Tarot com, and I'm also on California Psychics under the name Snapdragon. And is that is that is that the reason? Well, I don't even want to know the reason why you call it Snapdragon. Well, they gave me that name. So. Who? Daddy O? Yo, Zaddy? <laughs> Yo, Zaddy called it Snapdragon? Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. And you can hit me up on Keen under the Fresh Tarot. Keen.com. K E E N.com. I think this is very interesting, you know, because. I, you know that's what we do here. We blow smoke. Well, I blow smoke. Yeah. You, you don't let your. But you, but you working though. You working like we got a little. You know, we we drinking and we smoking. And yeah, just, and really that's what like, blowing smoke is. It's just mm-hmm. like good conversation. I'm enjoying the conversation. Yeah, um, I think it's a lot of information that would be helpful. It's a lot, and, and another thing too, people make the mistake of all really readers and all we do is just give you confirmation on what you already know. Right, right. And a lot of people that. Are very that follow their instinct and their intuition and stuff like that. They don't really want to talk to us. It's people that don't listen to themselves right. that really, you know. We just give you what you. You want already to know the answers. It's just validation, yeah. somewhat to yeah. a certain degree. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's the ones that call over and over and over again. That I get a lot of that. And some people just want somebody to talk to. Right. And it's people that call over looking for a different answer. They keep calling and you be like, I see a depreciation in your finances very soon. It's called your phone bill. That's right. This shit is five ninety nine yeah. a minute. Yeah, I get people that call two times in a day to be like, I say, didn't you just call me earlier? Oh. Oh, I thought you was somebody else. What is Darren thinking about me right now? That motherfucker ain't there. Darren is here, bitch. Right. <laughs> He, and sometimes I'd be like, he don't want you. You can't tell. Right. Your spirit ain't tell you that? Your spirit, like, I, one, I've been trying to get pregnant. Your spirit guys don't want you to have no baby with this man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You don't see none of them cars in. Take them cars out. I did see an uh, Empress card coming out. So Empress? Yeah, yeah, the Empress represents a new creation. Okay. Empress can represent. We just created this podcast. Empress also represents the wife. Okay. Okay, and the empress also represents a baby on the way. How about if I just get a young wife? You could get a young wife. But if you got a young wife, then... Well, she's younger than me, so... Right, so if y'all having sex without a condom... and she ain't, you ain't gonna be putting my business out there like and that. And she ain't on no birth control. You may have a baby coming. It's a spirit no, baby might not. be trying to come to. Take that card. And that ex-wife showing up at the at the tape of the car, and you toss them bitches because we got <laughs> we got our we got our landscapers that gonna come through here with a <laughs> with a lawn mower and you chop them damn cars. If up. a new baby come through, I just want the middle name to be Courtney or the Coco. Fuck? Yeah, his, his Coco. name gonna be out of here. <laughs> All right, so I don't so, know if I want to know about my finances. Let's just get a yes or no. Is, is Sean going to have this baby? Damn, why are you playing so much? Is this baby coming? Oh, no. I got to know. Okay. Thank you. Man with the suspenders, Nick. <laughs> my dude. My dude. Uh, yeah, all right. Sean going to be a mi- what, multi-millionaire? Because you're already a millionaire. Am I a millionaire? Yeah. Uh, you better go talk to my bank because they didn't get the memo. Okay. The situation will improve. Your money is going to be uh, improved. But the thing about it is, it's like you go back and forth with your assertiveness. You got to be more assertive with what you what you are manifesting. Because it's like you go back and forth with yourself. And Spirit is saying, like, damn it, I'm going to make this and I'm going to get this and this is what it is. You got to believe it because it's there. Hmm. It's pretty funny. You go back and forth. Because I tend to be that type of person where a lot of people say I'm too humble. Well, you ain't got to tell everybody. Well, you know, it's just the fact of, you know, I tend to, I guess I'm not assertive enough in certain situations where I, I don't give myself enough credit for what I, right. for what I put my, put, what I put right. work into. So now is the time, because this special, you should have been done this. True, but, you know, it's. And now is the time. Right. And it's. And being confident, you can be humble and confident right. in right. your. Right. I'm learning that now. 